If you're an artist like me, you probably have a camera roll that looks like this, and today I'm going to paint mine. Now, I did not take these photos. I definitely screen grabbed them from reels or TikToks or shorts or anything like that that inspired me. And I just really want to paint them because I told myself, okay, I'm going to use these as references for future works. But honestly, I'm never going to use them because uh, I prefer to work for my own images. But I love these because they inspire me. And I just want to practice painting them and just yeah because they're not usually things that I get to see on a regular basis but they do they still inspire me and they're still super beautiful and I just want to practice um especially since I am a landscape painter um but I don't really want to create like a whole piece out of them but I do still want to get like at least a little bit of practice so I thought this would be a good way to do that so this first one in my camera roll is taken from outside of an airplane. It's in the clouds, nice and fluffy and beautiful and bright. Um, so I started off with the darks first and then I did the lights afterwards, making them really pop. Now, one big challenge that I had here was creating straight lines in between each, each of my photos. Um, but you know what? It's okay if it's not perfectly straight. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself. <laughs> So I started with the grass first, or at least like the first layer of grass, and then just a simple um, background of the sky and a couple clouds in the distance there before I worked on this mountain, leaving some space to put in the waterfall a little bit later. And I don't know, I just kind of built up the browns. And then um, when it came to the water, I added a little bit of blue. Um, and then the grass is really where... I wanted the attention to be um, so I started adding little flowers of different colors and just to get a general feel for the image now this one was actually a watercolor piece that I saw and I really liked and I wanted to try to copy it um, so I might do that in a different video or just on my own at some point but I wanted to sketch it out on here um, because I liked the layout, I liked the composition of it. Um, it had a few different flowers and it had a couple of like falling leaves and a little butterfly, a little bumblebee that you'll see in a minute. Um, and then I went back in much later with a pen and um, added in those details. And then for this one, um, what I did first was I created the mountains and then I added like fake mist. So while the mountains were still wet, I added in some white and blended it out and it gave the illusion of some mist or fog. Um, and then I started working on the foreground pieces. Um, yeah, I mean, you can pretty much see what I've been doing here. I'm not doing anything with super details. I'm just giving tiny little impressions. And so if you want to give the impression of very detailed work from far away, you can just do like little squiggles and it really tricks the eye. And then for this one, I really, you know what? I just wanted to do my favorite part first, which was the water. I really love that light blue color, but then it also helped later on when I add shading to around the water. Um, it's just helpful to have that bright color in right away. And then I just sort of color blocked out where I wanted the rocks to be, where I wanted the sh shadows of the water to be, and where I wanted a tree to be as well in the foreground that I'm filling in now. Um, and yeah, I started with lights and then gradually got darker. Um, it's hard to tell, I don't know, if you want to start with like a lighter color first and then move darker or darker first, then move lighter. It really depends on what you're painting. Now, this one is probably the bane of my existence, not because I hate hands or anything. Like, I love drawing hands, actually. Um, but this was very tricky. This is the first time I ever tried to paint hands at least in this much detail well no that's not true I have painted hands before but with oil paint and that worked out a lot differently than this this one um you know was a little bit tricky for me to figure out how to, plus it's been like you know a few years since I tried painting a hand um I kind of but it made me really love them again so I might try painting hands I know that's weird for a landscape painter to say but yeah so with this one I first did like I guess you would say a chromatic gray painting. Um, so just added various shadows. Oh, okay, next painting. <laughs> I'll go on about that, I guess, at another point. You know what? No, chromatic grays. So you just do all the shading first, and then you do like very thin layers of color on top, and then the shadows will just come through, and then everything is, um, you know, the color that it needs to be, but also the shade it needs to be. 
All right, so I hope you are not bored of mountains yet because you know what? That's most of my camera roll, honestly. And I love mountains because they come in so many different colors. Like they come in blues and grays and browns. Um, really, it, they sort of reflect sort of what's going on around them, the lighting that's around them. But yeah, that's what I really love about mountains is that you can see all the different colors that they could be. They're not just like black or gray like they have lots of different tones to them which is really cool um like for example in this next one the mountains are going to be mostly blue which i think is so cool i love painting blue mountains like look at how cool this is going to be like this picture especially it really pops i think i got this from like a screenshot of renee roaming yeah, I'm pretty sure on Instagram. Um, so if you don't follow her, definitely follow her. She's so inspiring. Oh my gosh, I wish I could hike like she does and then, but also just like paint at the same time. I guess similar to Chuck Black that way. But um, yeah, that's definitely the dream. So I love this one because of all the blues. And then you'll see in a minute just how her red backpack really pops, um, which I makes for a very stunning image. So this one really inspired me because of the colors and also the scenery, like, oh my goodness, how beautiful it would be to stand in that place. Um, yeah, so I just filled in her her pants there and then the red backpack, a little bit of the ground that she's standing on, um, adding in some green there and then going in with just very small details of the mountains and then the reflection, of course. Um, which I think also really makes the piece. I would love to paint this one in a much larger version. So I didn't record the last ones because I didn't think they would be that interesting, but yeah, this is painting my camera roll. You can see all the other ones I didn't show on camera, but um, you can see the finished look. It's so bright, so colorful. Oh, I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's my color palette next to it in case you're interested in what that looks like. And then here's the side by side. Let me know how you think I did.